if you remember guys we were interacting with service this z f r b s g s r v this is our service guys yeah this is our service we were interacting with another service so i need to go back and add the another service also to our ODATA. so this was also a question before anubhav can i add multiple ODATA services in our project so answer is yes you can so let me show you how to integrate multiple ODATA services in sap so we come back and define one more service and i will say demo service or uh, my uh, gen service yeah, generated service and i will put here our service address the new service address which we used so this is the new service address which we used so this gen service i'll create another model i'll create another model so let's come down instead of default model one we will create default model two with the new service name gen service and let's call it as um, s2 yeah this is my service two integrations so multiple odata services we can integrate in a single fury project makes sense makes sense this is how you can integrate so now instead of using the default model we will use s2 model to fire the post on the service yes so let's go back to the controller so we go here and we are just come back here to go to the go to the uh, object ODATA model object and here we will get the s2 model instead of default model we get s2 model this s2 model has my sales order entity set yes have my sales order entity set so when we are triggering the request yes when we are triggering the request on save we are triggering now on this ODATA model which is s2 model we will not need this extra coding all these things we would not need so i'm getting just closing closing all these things we don't need i save it yes and now let's go ahead and test our application once again so i'm going to refresh so we will enter the two records 10 and 20 product one or item one item two with product ID and we will put here 100 euro 19 10 quantity is 3 and let me save again so I click on save and the save should have gone back to SAP let's try again so it's gone you see but there is another error so what's the error now you see property lifecycle status at offset 260 is invalid value new i got the reason so the value of this property called life cycle status which we are sending the value we cannot send as new it should be n it should be sent as n yeah so here there is a problem this should be n b and d new blocked delivered let's try now once again so step by step we are checking the issue and we're fixing each issue one by one yes. this is my item one my item two hundred ninety ten three okay let's try now so it's a new order now and everything is good let's trigger the save yes wow look at that look at that you just created a sales order 54024 let me copy this and we can check this in sap now so that is the concept of deep insert how can we insert our data in sap with multiple line items yes. header and child together together so i'm going to go back to node key and put the order id and this is my sales order data cool the next we will do is se 11 we will put the sales order item table and we will check all the items are created or not for the sales order header execute and you see you've got the items over here with the amount and values and everything got created with the corresponding product so exact two items you can see 
were saved together. So if there is a problem in single item, the whole batch will get rejected. So in your company, if you have a requirement where you need to do multiple header item relationship kind of stuff, you can do it with the help of with the help of deep insert. Deep insert makes sense. Any questions on the deep insert? How we implemented it on the Fury.